Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Bagadon at Stock Market Caddy, and today is Friday, July 9th at 12.11, and starting, really, it started, I think, last night. Um, we were long. Um, you know, I want to draw a, um, a distinction for everyone that may or may not appreciate this. We draw a distinction between what we call position trades we call them position trades as opposed to swing trades has a very um, different connotation to us than um, you may not be familiar with and then we also um, uh, have our intraday trades which is the bulk of what we do what is a position trade a position trade for us might be on the s p or it might be on a stock and that trade is mapped out. We're trying to see price go from point A to point B. And it's mapped out. And how is it mapped out? It's mapped out both on time and on risk. Our risk is defined. So that if we hit our marks from point A to point B on the timetable that we've laid out, we pretty much know how much money we're going to make. On the other hand, if we don't hit our marks, we know how much money we're going to lose. When we put the trade on initially, the delta, the delta is the probability that we will be in the money is 50-50. And as the trade gets underway, that delta will move about. That delta might go from 50 to 65 or to 70 probability of profit of some profit and then the delta may also drop down to you know below 30 could be problematic at any point during the trade the position trade unlike a gambling game in Vegas we can put our hand in the roulette table and stop the wheel we can exit the trade we can stop the trade with a decent profit well, we could stop the trade with a partial loss and not a full loss, but the loss is defined. Very, very important that one understand that. I don't think most people on the Twitter sphere understand what it means to map out and define a position risk. Because we do this, on occasion and we don't have I don't personally have position trades on all the time we will do it periodically during the course of the year but um, the intraday trading we're doing all the time so it is entirely possible as it was today that my position trade could be short the market yet my intraday trading I'm exploiting the market to the long side. In fact, I am more eager to buy the market when I have a short position trade on. Why? It, in essence, hedges or improves my delta. So I wanted to, you know, um, make that clear to everybody. Um, projecting you know the market is certainly fun or the position and it may grab a lot of headlines and it may grab a lot of attention on the Twitter sphere but as a professional trader um, it is a bit of a parlor game that is going online and in these decisions that we're making are computerized decisions and and are being modified uh, constantly so take for instance today or last night the ESU went long on the swing machine on a five let me slide this over on a five minute basis and that position is up twenty four hundred dollars at 10.05 the NQ 10.05 this morning the NQ goes long there's eighteen hundred at 55 minutes past midnight 12.55 the YM went long, there's 2,400. The Russell went long this morning. We actually went long last night. Went long at 9.55, you'd be up almost 600. 
At 910, gold goes long. He'd be up 6, uh, 670. Bitcoin went long at 850. He'd be up 2900. And oil went long, dipping right now, but went long at 845. Intraday trading, we push off of our swing machine in a big way. Position trading, we use swing machine and we use our other uh, algos to put together a panel. Think of it like going to the doctor. When you go to the doctor and you have an issue, they order a blood test and the doctor looks at a panel of, of markers and can give you some good news or give you some bad news, but, and he makes a decision from there. When we do our position trades, we have to look at a panel of markers. And then we make our decision, our position, and we define it, and we go with it, and we manage it as it's underway. It isn't um, nearly as precise as our intraday. It's precise, but not. It, it calls for a different psyche than our intraday trading. Intraday trading is very precise, but there's immediate, immediate um, gratification or pain, if you want to say we don't hopefully have too much pain, but it's immediate. And the problem or the challenge that I think new, you know, I use the word loosely here, traders, because just because somebody trades doesn't mean they're a trader, <laughs> okay, a professional trader. So... I think where a lot of um, uh, newbies get hung up is they come in, they're new, they want to put on a position trade. They're not entirely sure. They haven't honed it. They haven't practiced it. They don't define their risk. They get married into a position. What I mean by married, they also bet more than they're prepared to, to lose, maybe too big they haven't defined their risk and then they get into a a war of words a battle royale or whatever online total waste of time total distraction and and then their emotions are ground up during the course of a day they really shouldn't even be paying attention to any if you are in a position trade the intraday traffic that is going on intraday really shouldn't be of any any interest you should really just be working off of the close now if you're buying short dated options you know um, options that exp and you're buying them that expire in three days or ten days and you don't have the tools that we have I mean you truly are um, you know I, I it's a gamble it's a gamble and when you're dealing with options you have to deal with uh, the time decay you have to deal with the implied volatility of this it's infinitely more difficult than futures um, there's no no question about that so in any case um, I hope you're getting it done wherever you are and whatever you're doing and however you're approaching it if you're not if you're not and our videos our information at some level resonates with you feel free to give us a call i'm happy to speak with you fridays uh, today this afternoon we'll be here doing some things but our trading is done we're done for the day we actually ended um, much uh, this morning another very very solid week you know we'll uh, look at the close today we'll look at the close of the week not much difference from you know where we've been over the last couple of weeks from a position basis markets extended no question about it um, breadth of the market even with this run up in the Russell and the Dow isn't going to make that big a difference we do have an uh, still an elevated VIX we may have some um, some prices being pegged in the option market so I think today's close 
and the weekly close will be important and then we'll approach next week for next week when it comes to our position trading so again i'm bagging on stock market caddy thanks for the follows that's a freebie if you want to chat and get really serious about your game feel free 813-758-8263 friday afternoons are a great time to chat and or over the weekend and um, we wish you the best. We really do. We don't want to see anyone get hurt. And, um, and that's what we're all about is really teaching you how, not how to trade per se. I'm not going to be that, um, you know, arrogant. I would just say that we will teach you how we go about trading. And for those that have an annual membership, we will share with you the tools that we have built and use for ourselves day in and day out, teach you how to use them. And then from there, you're certainly free and encouraged to trade your own game. Have a great weekend, everyone.